So in this problem, we need to show that in any triangle ABC, the given equation holds true. So we'll be using the law of sines to prove the following. So let's begin by first stating the law of sines. So here we have a triangle ABC. Here the sides opposite to angle A, opposite to angle B and opposite to angle C are represented by the letters A, B and C in lower case. Now the law of sines states that the ratio of side A to that of sine of the angle opposite to side A. This will be equals to the side B, the ratio of side B to that of sine of the angle opposite to B, which will be angle B. And this is also equals to the ratio of side C to that of sine of the angle opposite to side C. So that's angle C. This is the law of sine. Now, in order to solve this problem, we will consider that let these three ratio be equals to a common constant lambda, such that A will be equals to lambda times sine a then we can represent b as lambda times sine b and then c will be equals to lambda times sine c fine so we will uh, try to prove this problem so let's begin so here we have b times secant of b plus c times secant of c and we know that the secant function that's the reciprocal of the cosine function so we can rewrite it as b over cosine b plus c over cosine c whole divided by so we'll convert tangent to its equivalent sine and cosine ratio so we have sine b over cosine b in place of tangent of b and tangent of c will become sine c over cosine c so this will be equals to so we have c times secant of c so we'll get c over cosine c plus a over cosine a then in the denominator, we're going to have sine C over cosine C plus cos uh, sine A over cosine A, which will be equals to A over cosine of A plus B over cosine of B. Whole divided by, we have tangent of A, so that will be sine A over cosine A. Added to tangent of B, which will be sine B over cosine B. Fine. Further simplification. So for the first one, what we'll do? We'll multiply both numerator and the denominator with cosine B, cosine C. So we'll get B times cosine C plus C times cosine B. Whole divided by, so we have sine B times cosine C plus cosine B times sine C. So this will be equals to, we will multiply both numerator and the denominator with cosine A times cosine C. So we're going to get C multiplied to cosine A plus A multiplied to cosine C. Whole divided by, so here we have sine C times cosine A plus cosine C times sine a that will be equals to the third ratio that we have a times cosine b plus b times cosine a whole divided by sine a times cosine b plus cosine a times sine b right now we can further simplify now b times cosine c so we can replace the value of b with lambda times sine b and c with lambda times sine c so we get lambda so let's take lambda as the common factor the lambda will be multiplied to sine b times cosine c plus c will be sine c times cosine b whole divided by so we have sine b times cosine c plus cosine b times sine c this will be equals to so here we have c c will be replaced with lambda times sine c multiplied to cosine a we will take lambda as the common factor and the second term will be a that becomes sine a where multiplied to cosine c whole divided by so in the denominator we have sine c cos a plus cos c sine a this will be equals to 
So here we have a cosine b plus b cosine a. So that will become lambda multiplied to sine a cos b plus cos a sine b divided by sine a cos b plus cos a times sine b. So here we can see that in the first fraction the numerator and the denominator factors are leaving us with lambda in the second fraction also the numerator and denominator factors are leaving us with lambda and the third fraction also leaves lambda so here we can clearly see that the three expressions are equals to each other hence proved